What's up nerds, this week in PC gaming, we're battling to the beat in God of Rock, fighting the piglins in Minecraft Legends, and hitting zombies with sticks, wrenches and whatever else you can find in Dead Island 2. I'm Warren Aitken and this week the PC stands for Peeling Crisis. It's very dry. I got my hand tattooed and it has now reached the itchy flaky stage, which I obviously hate. It's all about strategy and timing your hits right this week, so let's get started. First up this week is God of Rock, which, as you might have already guessed, is a rhythm game. The twist here is that, rather than watch a band perform, characters will fight on screen Tekken style. Who asked for this? There's a story mode and 5 game modes to tackle, with a roster of 12 unique characters and over 40 original songs, so don't go in expecting to smash out Master of Puppets or anything. Each character has their own mechanics and harmonic attacks, which I guess are kind of like ultimates or specials. The music will become more complex as battles progress, making it harder to hit those notes and keep time. You can also edit tracks if you want to shake things up a bit. There's also an online ranked mode if you fancy taking the fight to the public. It comes to Steam on April 18th. Also coming to Steam on April 18th is Minecraft Legends, which is less mining and more strategy. You'll form alliances with friends to overthrow the piglins and reclaim the overworld, which doesn't mean a damn thing to me, but maybe you find it interesting. The world is dynamic, meaning you'll get a new experience in each playthrough, and you can also battle it out against those aforementioned friends as you defend your village, so fuck those guys, I guess. As Minecraft Legends is a strategy game, you'll need to put some effort into deciding which moves to use, enemies to attack, and most importantly, how not to die. Last up is Dead Island 2, which comes to the Epic Games Store on April 21st. A deadly virus is spreading through LA, or Hell A, am I right? <laughs> turning everyone into zombies. Like in the first Dead Island, some of these zombies can run and do cool tricks, so that's nice. You can choose a snarky character from a roster of misfits as you try and figure out how the outbreak started and who, or what, you are, as you appear to be resistant to the pathogen. How ominous. As usual, you'll be picking up whatever you can find to use as a weapon, craft weird and wonderful gear, and chug down energy drinks to feel better. The melee sandbox is pretty brutal and you can customise your character with a pretty in-depth skill tree that will let you respec instantly to become the ultimate zombie slayer. The GeForce RTX 4070 is coming soon and AMD decided to start throwing punches early by saying the new GPU doesn't have enough RAM allocation. Given that the specifics aren't out in the wild yet, though have supposedly been leaked, it remains to be seen whether it will release with a rumour 12 gig. Yeah, it means nothing to me either. That's just a note for you, Josh. Well. <laughs> this Week in PC Gaming is sponsored by Easter Eggs. Help, I'm drowning in chocolate, said no one ever, except maybe that wee guy from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory who fell in the Chocolate River. And that does it for This Week in PC Gaming. For the hottest news, reviews and takes, head to PCGamer.com. I'm Lauren Aitken and I'll see you next time. I've actually reached that point where there's too much chocolate. I wouldn't say I'm drowning, I wouldn't say I'm sad, but it's a lot of chocolate. <laughs>